Not your average love story, is it? Listen. 13 years young, and I inhaled my first taste of your support. You were there for me through thick and thin. I could always count on my new port. Even though we began officially at 13, in some way you have always been there with me. In 1976, your essence hovering over my crib as my mother held you looking over me. Over the years, you filled my apartments when I came home from school. On weekends, you would dangle from my father's lips as I handed him tools. I would stare at you on the kitchen counter wondering why they loved you so much. I would fantasize that I was leather jacket fly with you in reach of my admiring touch. My first airplane ride was filled with your aroma 33,000 feet in the air. I saw how you saved my mother when my father left her destitute and in despair. Back to back and between the tears, you were always there to comfort her. From my young eyes, you seemed a better comforter than a preacher or counselor. I experimented with your colleague when I was 11. Alpine Whites, two bucks a pack of 20 with Esteban, Che, and Nelson. Taught them how to be cool on Black Rock at the manhunt spot. Trading kid games for adult vices, children from this day forth we were not. Over the years I toyed with you, never really committing until that fateful night. Midnight, walking through Alexander's parking lot, I, got, I inhaled with you with all my might. From that day forth we were inseparable. Two peas in a pod, Murtaugh and Riggs. No matter what I was doing or who I was with, right hand pocket filled with my six. Embraced adolescence, teenage, and adulthood with you by my side. Only separating once when I joined the U.S. Navy and we had to take that boot camp ride. But I thought about you every day while in Great Lakes, the Chicago Naval Base. When I graduated, you were the first thing I craved and I raced to your embrace. The women I dated never really understood you and I. Our connection was stronger than they realized. To break us up, they often tried. Emphysema, lung cancer, all those petty, obvious lies. They were just jealous, as they used a concerned disguise. At intermission on Broadway, want wanting to be an enemy fighter. My flicker of that lighter was shining ever so brighter. They didn't understand our connection. Cold weather never deterred us. We got more breaks than the average employee, no matter the fuss. You mentally repressed my stress. Open the lid, begin the two-finger caress. You made drinks at the bar and meals so much more tastier, I must confess. But there was nothing like holding you right after some bomb-ass sex. Then, things took a drastic turn. It seemed there was a lesson you wanted me to learn. Was this tough love? If so, why would you do me like that? Sharing your love with my children made me take a step back. How could you cheat on me with those I never wanted to share you with? Passed down your love from mother, father to son. I ended the myth. No loyalty, integrity, dignity, nor remorse. You broke my heart and took the people I love by force. Now you try to blame me as you did my caregivers for the introduction? Call me the equivalent of this serpent that caused Adam and Eve's destruction? Does the apple that grew from this family tree have zero accountability? Guess you can't blame innate objects when discussing the cause of your casualties. This is a tragedy. How could I have been so blind to my parental responsibilities? I ended the generational curse of my children being exposed to the hood, then still brought hood habits along for the ride while progressing forward. Literally 30 years I gave this union my all. For absolute faithful fidelity, I answered the call. I even added to our covenant when I introduced you to the beautiful exquisite green sedative. I avoided all the thought boxes out there, crack, meth, the wet, and heroin additives. I saw you kiss my son and daughter's lips. Have you no shame? Did what we have mean nothing to you? Was it nothing but a game? This is it. I've had enough of your cheating. You will never be able to stay the course. You are never faithful to me. I want a fucking divorce. Don't laugh at me. I'm not fucking joking. Fuck you. I'm done with smoking.